What's going on? It's 1.15 a.m. on July 21st, 2023. This book, Barbara Olson. What's it say? Barbara Olson was killed on September 11, 2001, when the airplane she had just boarded for Los Angeles was hijacked by terrorists and crashed into the Pentagon. For real. She was actually killed by terrorists on a plane, right? I mean, that's what we all understand happened on September 11, 2001. And she had just finished this book. This has happened a couple of other times. Didn't the same thing happen to Shimon Perez? Yes, it did. Didn't the same thing happen to John Beverly Butcher? Yes, it did. Who else? They died right before their memoir came out, right? I mean, you wouldn't have said that John Beverly Butcher or Shimon Perez were killed by terrorists, would you? So this book was finished just before September 11, 2001. What was all of that rancor in 2017 about how Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton had never met? What's this chapter say? The new senator's quarters on the 26th floor of a 50-story 3rd Avenue building owned by the Teachers Insurance Annuity Association of America came in at approximately $91 per square foot. What? What did I just see in the 2013 appropriations bill regarding 91? Regarding Bill Clinton and the 58th floor of the Carnegie Hall Towers in, I'm sorry, 56th floor of the Carnegie Hall Towers in Manhattan. He wanted the entire 56th floor, all 8,300 square feet. Clinton had first informed the General Services Administration, GSA, which oversees office expenditures, that his lease would cost $650,000 per year more than double his previous estimate for post-presidential office space. The figure soon inflated to more than $800,000, with the possibility that preparation costs could bring the figure to $830,000 for 8,300 square feet. Okay, apparently that was his first bid, right? But what did he say on February 12th, 2001? How many years is February 12th, 2001 before February 12th of 2018? Bill Clinton announced that he was dropping his bid for the 56th floor of the Carnegie Hall Tower and would instead set up his post-presidency shop in the capital, Black America. Tramontano called Harlem Representative Charles Rangel, one of Clinton's steadfast defenders, to facilitate the move. Now, here's the footnote for that reference for the 8300. What did I say in May of 2016? I posted a blog post in May of 2016 regarding what? Bids for the 2016 Olympics. Why? Because Chicago was also a bidder on the 2016 Olympics along with Rio. But Rio got the games. And I asked publicly in that blog post, if you put in a bid for something like the Olympics and it doesn't go through, is there some sort of consolation? Can you use that bid for something else? In Harlem, the site in question was top floor, the 14th. At 55 West 125th Street, the building had been recently renovated and also housed a Navy recruiting site, Harlem Legal Services for Battered Women, and an Office of the Internal Revenue Service. Karen Tumulty of Time Magazine noted the irony that the inspiration to make Harlem, the Harlem move came to Clinton while he was playing golf at a Florida country club that has been accused of discriminating against blacks and Jews. Here's the thing. Apparently, Bill Clinton eating at McDonald's was somehow supposed to have been an understanding of his 
qualifications as the first black president. Other than the references just uh, identified, there's no other mention of Donald Trump directly in connection with the Clintons in this book. But if it's true that the author died before September 11th and the plane crash that happened in Philadelphia, there's no way she could have known in advance about Donald Trump going to his Florida country club every single weekend of his presidency. Is there? No, there's not, right? But here's the other thing. What's this building that the Carnegie Building. I'm going to ask this. I have to ask this. Where is this Carnegie Building in Manhattan relative to the building where the offices of the Democratic Socialists of America were located, at least up through the early 2000s? The traditional office, the original office of the Democratic Socialists in America. Was either Bill Clinton or Nancy or Hillary Clinton's New York City offices in proximity to the Democratic Socialist of America building in New York City, the city, the, the, the building where that office was? Is that what the lawsuit is? Is that what this litigious matter involving? The Office of the Democratic Socialists of America that I've been hearing about relative to at least one person I know was a member of the organization and other people who are allegedly now linked to the organization that weren't before since October of 2021. Do either Bill or Hillary Clinton's office locations or the bids on their original office locations have anything to do with or are they in any proximity to the Office for the Democratic Socialists of America in New York City. If it's not actually Donald Trump, guys, stop saying it is.